All right, this is another boring but important video. But let's talk about the shoulder specifically. Let's talk about the rotator cuff, not cup, it's a cuff. <laughs> and the way, easy way to remember these muscles is the SITS muscles, which is an acronym that I'm gonna show you what that means. So the first muscle that's involved, there's four of them, is called the supraspinatus. So there's a spinous process going across your shoulder blade. There's a muscle sitting up here that comes out and attaches to the humerus called your supraspinatus muscle, that's the first one. Now, if there's a supraspinatus, there's probably an infraspinatus, and that's right here, also attaching to the humerus. The supraspinatus actually does this first little bit of abduction in your shoulder. Uh, the infraspinatus and the teres minor are actually gonna do external rotation, while the other one's gonna do internal rotation. So teres minor comes in and attaches below here, and then subscapularis comes from the first part of the shoulder. So imbalances in these muscles can cause popping and cracking and grinding. Um, tears in these muscles, if it's a grade one to grade three, we could probably help those with regenerative medicine. Complete tears are surgical cases. So there's a little brush up on your spinal anatomy or on your, uh, your shoulder anatomy, and we'll see you next time.